of guys, Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and uh, I do all the hack rank and code solutions. You can check those out. I have playlists for both of them on my page. Everything else is in the description. So this is called Sum of Even Numbers After Queries. We have an array A of integers and an array of queries. So we have a 2D array of queries. We have A is just a bunch of integers. This is what A would look like, one, two, three, four. This is what queries would look like. For the ith query, meaning each element of query, so each sublist of query, value is the first element of each sublist, index is the second element of each sublex, uh, sublist. Uh, we add value to A of index. So we're gonna extract the index, which is the second element of each sublist. So here it would be 0, 1, 0, 3. These are all indexes that we wanna target in A. So we loop through this, we, tar we grab each index, and then we add the value, which is the first element, um, to the current uh, position in A. Then the modifications that we do are permanent. So when we add one to the first element of A, because we have to target index zero and A, that would be two. Then it would be two, two, three, four. That two is going to remain permanently. It's a permanent mod modification. And what we do is every time we do one modification, so once we turn this one into a two by adding one here, uh, we're gonna sum up every element in this list and then put it into a results array, an output array, right? So we're gonna have int um, results is equal to new int of a dot length, right? Um, just for example, we can go through the example at the beginning of the array, it's one, two, three, four. After adding one to array of a of zero, uh, it's gonna be two, two, three, four. We add the sum, we get eight, then we add it into our output array. Then we move on to the next element. And the two remains, obviously. So then we add negative three to a of one, which is two. And then we get two, negative one, three, four. The sum decreases to six. We add that to the output array and so on. Hopefully you guys understand that. Uh, so the first solution I had, it was just brute force. What I did is I had a counter um, and I had a current sum. And we need to fill um, results array is obviously going to be the same length as the queries and the uh, initial a array. So I just did while counter is less than um, a dot length or queries dot length doesn't really matter. Um, and this is this is or you could do results dot length because we literally just said it. That actually probably makes more sense to when you look at it because counter is what we're gonna do. We use to like results of counter is going to be equal to current sum, right? We're gonna add a sum into results each time we loop through this, right? And then obviously we're gonna, we're gonna increment counter down here. So this is just the main loop. Um, and then we're gonna set current sum back to zero because we're gonna have a different sum each time. It's the sum of all of these values. Now, as for in the inner loop, what we're gonna have to do to modify the array before we get the sum is here we could actually just write this loop to get the sum also uh, i equals zero i less than a dot length um, i plus plus so when i first did this i made the mistake of adding every value it's only even values sum of even numbers after queries it says sum all the even values so the current sum uh, it only gets the current value only gets added to the sum if it's even so we just do a check is it even um, if it's even, then we can do current sum plus equals a of i, right? There we go. Now we have the sum. We can put it in the results array, increment the counter, reset the current sum each time. Super easy. This is brute force, though, because obviously we have a loop through um, all the the results length or the queries dot length. We're doing, you know, it's like O of n squared, basically. Um, and what else do we have to do here? Well, we're going to, we have to extract the values, right? So int val is going to be queries of counter of what is the value of the first one yeah and then int index is equal to queries of counter of one and then all you had to do was right you just had to do a of index the query had an index to target and then you just did plus equals val and i think this works uh hopefully i didn't mess up here we can submit that uh and you have to return the output array that we built right because obviously each time we're adding a new sum to the output array. Let's see if it works in the run while we wait. And then we'll go over the optimal solution. Yeah, it works there. Let's submit it. Perfect. That's brute force O of n squared because the lengths of the arrays are the same basically. Um, and then I looked at the solution. I didn't really know how to do it in linear time, but this guy has a really cool solution. It's n plus q. 
uh, for the lengths, which is obviously way better than n times q or n times r for results array, but they're the same length anyway. Um, what he does is if we look at it, let's actually just copy all of this. We don't need to write it out, but what he does is he has a sum initially and he loops through the a array, right? He loops through all of the initial values. If they're even, he adds them to the sum. So he has an initial sum for the initial array. So one plus two plus three plus four. Um, yeah, we got seven there. So we're, we have this initial sum of seven, right? And well, maybe not, I don't know. One, two, it's only even numbers, right? Two plus four, initial sum of six, right? And what we do is we, then we loop through the queries, we execute the queries, and if the number is divisible by two, if it's even, then we, if the current index is even, we just subtract it. We subtract the um, value from the initial sum. We modify it because we have to modify it for each query. And then we, if it's even, then we do another check if it's even, and then we add it back on, right? Because it's only even numbers. So it only matters if the index is even, right? So, you know, obviously we're not going to subtract indexes that are not even because they never got added to the sum in the first place, but we add the val and I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, right? You just look, this one's better because we do one loop up here. Initially, we get an initial sum. And then as we loop through the queries, we modify elements and we just check if they're even and we increment or decrement an initial sum. So this is a much better solution. Uh, I recommend maybe reading into it if you don't understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to explain it as best as I can. Initial sum with all the even values, the odd ones aren't added. But down here, we execute the queries and a number that was odd can become even and then get added to the sum. And a number that's even can become odd and get pulled out of the sum. So we just keep changing this uh, sum as we execute queries and append the um, you know sum to the answer each loop iteration. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys understand that. And please check out all my other videos. Thank you and see you.